So when you're planning a leg routine, you want to know which exercise activates the quads most, the hamstrings most, the glutes most. And the answer is actually that the deadlifts activate their hamstrings most. Uh, lunges actually activate the glutes and most of the quads most. And only the rectus femoris is most activated by the squats. And I'll prove it to you in this video. Starting with the hamstrings, we can see that both the lateral and medial hamstring muscles are most activated with the deadlifts and least activated with the squats. In particular, for the lateral hamstring, the concentric portion of the deadlift activates the muscle an average of 130% MVIC, whereas it only activates the muscle about 90% MVIC for any of the other movements. And for the medial hamstring, you can see that the concentric portion of the deadlift activates at 90% MVIC, whereas it only up to about 60% for any of the other movements. So moving on to quads, I used to think that squats would be best for the quads as a whole, um, and they are best for the rectus femoris, which is the muscle in the middle. You can see that in the graph at the top. However, they're not actually any better than the lunges or step-ups for the vastus lateralis, which is the muscle on the outside of the quads. And in fact, for the vestus medialis, which is the muscle on the inside, they are actually significantly worse than both the lunges and the step-ups. And the lunges are actually the best overall for both the vestus lateralis and medialis. In the graph at the bottom for the vastus medialis, you can see that the lunge activates the muscle 19% more than the squat does. So finally, for glute activation, you can see that for the gluteus medius at the top, the lunges and step-ups activate the muscle significantly more than the deadlifts and squats do. For the gluteus maximus, the deadlifts, lunges and step-ups are all significantly better than the squats, with the lunges being the best overall exercise for that muscle. So before you say you don't care about glutes though, you should know that weak glutes have been linked to kneecap pain, outer knee pain, knee sprains and ankle instability. So when you're doing things like running and sprinting or uh, squats and you get some kind of knee pain it could actually be because we you have weak glutes which is negatively influencing joint loading and control of the legs so my final thoughts are that if you want a optimal glutes hamstrings and quad workout you definitely want to do deadlifts squats and lunges so now you know that if you only do deadlifts and squats you'll be getting a significantly suboptimal workout because without lunges you won't get a full um, or optimal glute workout include especially the gluteus medius and you don't want weak glutes as I've already said uh, and you'll also be getting a suboptimal quads workout especially for the vastus medialis. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, subscribe if you already haven't and let me know in the comment section if there's exercises you want me to compare or if uh, you want me to look at an individual exercise and let you know how much each muscle that's used during that exercise is activated and I'll see what I can do.